Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. <clears throat> In today's tutorial I'll be teaching you how to replace your player's body with a ragdoll. Now the reason to this is because when we create our uh, fall damage script the player would fall from any height and wouldn't die. So that's what we're going to fix this today. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your FPS script folder and create a new JavaScript and call this player main health. Double click and open that in more develop. <clears throat> and let's start defining the things we need. Now I'm going to tell you right now this script is pretty much exactly the same thing as the AI demo script but it will be used for the player instead and um, we'll be working on it a bit more because considering it's a player's health script. The first thing we want is for max health. So this is the player's max health going to be equals to 100 for current health it's going to be equals to 0 for dead position if you don't know what I'm go what's going on over here I recommend you go watch the AI damage script it's exactly the same thing and I'm going to explain myself twice otherwise and um, this one's going to be equals to Sorry, it's going to be a type transform with a capital T. For um, dead body, it's going to be a type game object. Okay, so that's that done. In the start function, we want to say players, nope, sorry, current health script is going to be equals to max health and that's that. In the update function we want to say if open bracket close bracket open curly brace and close curly brace we're going to say if current health is less than zero then return back zero. Sorry return zero. That's just basically saying if we're going less than zero make current health is zero. Next one is going to be pretty much the same but without the return. If open bracket close bracket open curly brace close curly brace and in this one we're going to say if current health is less than or equal to zero then we want to call a function and we're going to call this function destroy body open bracket close bracket and closing curly brace. That's going to destroy the player's body and replace it with a ragdoll. Now let's create the function we need. So it can be function destroy body. Open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace and close curly brace. Inside this we're going to wait 3 seconds before the body destroys itself and replaces itself with a rigid um, ragdoll. So yield, wait for a second. Open bracket, close bracket, closing semicolon, and we're going to say 0 0.3 seconds is enough. Obviously, that's not how I'm going to keep it. When I have deaf animations, I'll replace that with that. So, if the deaf animation makes a screaming sound, then the body destroys itself. And then we want to instantiate the new body. So, we're going to stay. <coughs> instantiate instantiate open bracket close bracket semicolon and in this one we're going to say dead body where do we want the dead body to be placed where our dead position our current transform position and I was going to write and in there <laughs> and um, dead position rotation and our current rotation so this will make the ragdoll face exactly where we were and position where we were okay the next thing is destroy the body if that's all 
destroy game object. Okay, save. Go into Unity. Just check we've got no errors. We don't. All right. Um. Let's see if this works. So run, fall. <coughs> nope. Well, I forgot one thing. Uh, click on your main player and click on the FPS controller input script, open it and look for the part where we created the fall damage part which is over here, that one there. I'll zoom in it so you can see it. Okay, underneath the jump height is greater than or equal to 100. Put the following player main health. Stop right there, go back into player main health and put current health as static and save it and where was it there we go we want to access the player's current health so current health is going to be equals to 10 so halfway when we're falling down just sorry when we reach 100 just set the health to 110 and copy and paste that into this one as well and set to zero and then the body will destroy itself and this should work Alright, so let's test it out. So the player's walking and then he drops, reaches 100. <coughs> okay, strange. That's because I didn't attach the script. And on the main player, drag the player main health script and add the dead position, which is going to be the main player and add the ragdoll that is now on my site there was a ragdoll there before oh make sure you got that separate because that's for the bad guys and this ragdoll is for the main player because I've set it up already alright let's see now <coughs> yep and the ragdoll okay wow the camera is placed way too close to the face. Let me sort that out. New ragdoll. Let me just drag it out here. Go zoom in a bit. Uh, open pelvis, spine one, two, three. Neck, neck, head, camera. There you go. Let me just update that again and I'll upload this again to the site. <clears throat> Alright, now let's try that again. So we run, we jump, we fall, we dive. <coughs> okay, wow. That was a glitch. I just saw two bodies appear. And the camera's placed wrong again. It still goes through them. Hold on, I need to go sort this out. Um, where is he? New ragdoll. The near click is not set properly, so I'll reset that. 0 0.01. Save now, it should be alright. I'll just up that, uh, update that again. Delete out of here. Main player. Don't need to drag it there, I don't know why I keep doing that. Let's try again. <clears throat> Cameras closed, way too close. Here 
Yeah, it is. Okay, there we go. The camera's still too close. I'll adjust it and upload it to the site. But yeah, that's how you do that. And in the next tutorial, I will be showing you how to interact with rigid body objects. Now, I'll show you what that looks like right now. And just make sure it's not falling off the ground. All right. So you can see those crates down there. Normally, if we interact with those, they won't move out of the way, but if I get close to one of them, you see, it kicks it out of the way. This is good because sometimes if you get stuck, you can move out of the way and they'll move with it. And depending on what size the object is, we'll set it up, so if it's like big boxes like these but if they're empty we can move them if you have something inside of it we can't move it and so on and so forth yeah so that's the next tutorial <laughs> that one flew far yep and then after that I'll be teaching you the laser pointer which you can see on the screen Alright guys, as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you soon.